Hello everyone and of course I'm recording Ninja afterwards because I didn't record one before. If you watched the last video then you'd know. Anyway, let's just continue where we left off. Basil has been all by himself recently so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil has friends who care about him so much. I think I read that wrong but whatever. Hi Basil, it's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Oh, maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey Basil, this is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you're all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it'd mean a lot to him. Awesome. I call the couch. Ah, this is all happening so fast. Okay then. Since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. Hmph. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called it first. Ow, that hurts. Oh, I can move. Okay. I don't know. Let's go in the bathroom. Yay. Basil. Okay, well, let's rest. You know, this is going on a lot longer than I expected. I thought the video would be over by now. Look how cute we are. Oh, I wish I could do this. Whatever, I'm not a jealousator. You're a jealousator. I'm not salty. You're salty. Actually, how long is this going to last? Uh, I'm just going to drink some water in the meantime. Oh wait, no, something's happening. What's up, Polly? Ooh, it's nighttime. Hey, Sunny. I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, We'll always be friends. Ugh, that's so cheesy, Hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. Yeah, why can't I call them on the phone? Eh, <laughs> Hero's always been such a big softie. Just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? Uh huh. It's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well... You'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softy now. Oof. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like I know that Mary's still here with us too. Well, I don't know about Sonny though. Sonny, I'm sure if you show any ounce of emotion, he's gonna run away. You know... I hope we'll all be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sunny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Yawn. Man, I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting sleepy up in here. Oh my gosh, is he sleeping already? Snore. What the? Is he asleep already? Snore, snore. Snore, snore. Yep, that's Kel for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sunny. 
Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time. I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sunny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park. He should probably tell his mom to do all that, because I'm sure if you leave it up to Sunny, he won't. Or the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows, we can do anything. Eh, that sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. You know, there should be like a sequel. Snore, come on guys, it's time to sleep already. Wait, how'd you say that? Eh, yeah, yeah. There should be like a seek. Good night, guys. Good night, Cal. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sunny. See you all in the morning. Anyway, as I was saying, there should be like a sequel where now they're all grown up, but instead of separating, they become roommates, and then they can all live together forever, happily ever after. The end. And then we never have to separate ever again. Or they could just get phones. But you know, where's the fun in that? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. I want to drink some water, but I don't know if it's going to make me read something. Will you forgive me? There you go. Wait, is this Basil talking? My best friend. Wow, my throat really hurts. Please. Youch. My eyes and my ears and my throat. Yay, we're back in white space. I genuinely thought it'd be over by now. Um, okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Also, I'm gonna separate the videos on its own, like record, re record, I don't know. Mori? Oh. Can I look in this? It's empty. Wait, why is... Decapitated head. Okay, can I do anything? A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Destroy it? Uh... Okay. Am I finally letting my emotions go? I'm not bottling them up anymore. Yes, let's feel something for once. Tired of being dead inside. Embrace those emotions. Uh, hi? Run! No. Fight. First, let's calm down. Yay. Something jerks Sunny into the shadows. Not good. Let's attack it. Nope, that did nothing. What if I just let myself die? Uh, oh my. Um, let's calm down. I need my health back. Something drags Sunny into the shadows. No? Okay, never mind. 
Let's calm down. Something jerks on into the shadows. Honestly, I don't really understand these sequences. Like, how do I defeat this? 19. Did nothing. It's trying to talk to me. Okay, can I attack it? My speed fell. It did nothing. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. Oh my gosh. Focus. No, oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's try attacking. It did nothing. Cool. How fun. Okay, now we're in the ocean. Persists. Okay, I'm gonna calm down first. Forty hearts. Persist. Let's go. I'm learning all the things. Oh my gosh, what is that? Run. Nope, you can't run. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. Uh, attack it. Something sways in the wind. No, I don't like this. I do not like this. It's not doing anything. Okay, I'm gonna focus. There we go, we calmed down. Let's focus. Oh my gosh, it's focused now. You feel like your life is in danger. And persist. We got this. Oh my gosh, this is... Oh my gosh, your lungs tighten up. Persist, I'm gonna persist. We cannot be killed if we keep persisting. Your heart beats out of your chest. Persist. We're pushing past these emotional barriers for once we will feel something and will remember. We're blocking something out. Let's stop blocking it out. Your fingers won't stop trembling. Finally, Sunny. Overcoming all those problems. You hear your breathing begin to steady. Let's calm down. We persisted, we focused, and now we're calming down. Yep, our heartbeat is steadying. Good. Can we attack now? No, we can't attack. That's interesting. You gather all your courage and learn to overcome. To overcome? Gather all your courage. Let's go, we got this. Defeat it once and for all. There you go, Sunny. I'm proud of you.
feel those emotions. Let's be happy, 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 happy. Can I run away? No, I won't run away. Let's do what we're supposed to this time. Light bulb. Finally, we face the darkness instead of hiding from it. We did it. I wonder what's this way. No, I'm not going to go that way. I don't know why I always want to do that. I'm afraid I'm going to mess things up, though. What the? This looks weird. Never mind. A tree. Let's go. Another tree. It looks like a backyard. The gates don't say anything. Basil. Hi, Basil. Sunny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you'd come back for me. But maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. Basil's photo album. Where are we going? What's going on? What's going... Oh, what the? Um, this things are so cute. Why are you being like this? Okay. There we go. What is this? My only daughter is gone, and you, you're my only son. I can't lose you as well. Then why would you leave me by myself for three days? Please be a good boy, Sonny. Please be a good boy. Oh my gosh. Wait, this photo is my family. Wait, so my dad, I do have a dad. So... After that incident, Mary's death, did he leave? What the? Is that a mirror? Basil is behind a mirror, and we're looking outside. Okay. Um, I don't know what's happening, but I'm sure it's something. Oh my gosh. Gooey. What is that outside? Are those handprints? I don't know. I can't see. Oh my gosh. My mom's gone. Sorry, mom. Drawn to it. What the? Four kids climbing a ladder to space. Five kids having a picnic. Riding an elevator. Talking to a whale. Wait, is that where I got all my dreams from? Three kids and one toast. Four kids walking to a giant statue. Four kids playing in a forest. Four kids riding a minecart. The person is breathing steadily. What is this? I don't know what I'm looking at. Someone's crouching. What the? Why'd they disappear? Oh my gosh, what is that? Somebody's hair. Somebody grabbing someone. Wait, is that me grabbing my sister? Oh, I'm grabbing my sister, then I'm crouching beside her. Okay. 
So is the person in the bed my sister? I'm crying beside... Oh my... That is... Dark. Any other photos? I don't see any. Oh. This person is not breathing. Oh no, the never ending stairs. Is that a hair? Can I go in here? No. What the? What is? What is happening? Somebody coming down the stairs. Is that me? Some... Mary? I think that's Mary on the floor. Oh my gosh. That's me. I think. This person is not breathing. Wait, did I used to share a room with my sister? Sunny, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Mary's calendar. Today's the day of the recital. Well, I can't open the book. Photo album. Photos. Oh, I can go get it. What is this? Something is preventing you from getting any closer. Mm. Oh my gosh. What the... What just happened? Her body. Oh my gosh. Wait, what the... Those are the fingers. Remember when Basil got taken? There's like fingers on the floor. I'm carrying her body? Oh, am I bringing her to the bed? Because I was there. And another finger gone. What is that about? What is this? Yeah, I think I'm carrying her to the bed. Honestly, I think I was probably just in shock after seeing her. So I probably... Four fingers gone. What is that about? One more. A broken violin. Is it my fault? Instruments. Was it my fault that she died? Me and her. Is she yelling at me? Oh my gosh. I remember she's talking about how she's really stern about the whole recital thing. And she was... She was mean to me. Did I... Did I kill her? Oh my gosh. Oh, what the... Did she grab... What is she doing? Maybe she's not as good as I thought she was. Whoa, what the... What is this? No. Get away from me. I don't know about Mary. Everyone's reminiscing about how great she was, but was she really that great? 
Did she hurt me? Yes, I do. Oh. Wait, no. I want to pick up the photo. Oh. Oh my gosh. I see myself as a monster. Did I kill her because she's hurting me? Is that me? I think I pushed her. Oh my gosh. I pushed her and then put her in the bed. What the? No wonder I blocked this out. No wonder I'm so distanced from my emotions because I killed her. Let's see, yeah. So, someone's hiding. Someone, something, I don't know what this is. Something on the floor. Oh, a broken violin. So, I think we got in an argument. I broke my violin. She's yelling at me and she starts doing something. Like, and then I push her. And then she falls. And here I am going down. Checking on her. She's dead. I start pulling her body, I put her on the bed, and then I start crying next to her. And then something happens here, and Basil's hiding, and he's outside. So, did Basil see me kill her? Oh my gosh. I think Basil saw me kill her. Oh, where is this? And want to look at the photo album. Another photo. A jump rope. Oh no. Okay. So I break the violin because I'm mad. She yells at me because of what I've done. We get into a fight. I accidentally, I probably accidentally killed her, pushed her down the stairs, and um, going down, I check on her, she's dead, I drag her body up the stairs, and I put her in the bed, and I'm kneeling and crying next to her, and what is that about? I think Basil must have seen me, and I'm crying, and there's like a close-up, I'm checking on Amori, I think he's like passed out or something. I don't, I can't tell what's happening there. Maury's just like laying there, up there. And then I go outside. I, I think that's a screen door. I, I'm outside. There's a tree. There's a rope. And so I think I, oh my gosh. So I think we were in an argument about the recital. I broke my violin. She got mad about that. And then I accidentally killed her by pushing her down the stairs. I drag her to her bed, and I'm in shock, and I don't know what to do. So Basil, he tries to help me by making it look like she, you know, you know, rope in a tree. So Basil is just helping me cover up my, basically, murder. Oh my gosh, poor Basil. And then I just, yeah, and then he ties the rope to make it look like that she did it to herself. So it wasn't even Basil. Like, I thought Basil was being weird, but I was the weird one. No wonder he is like, oh, why are you staring at me like that and saying all this stuff? Because I, I'm a psycho. I mean, yeah, I don't think I meant to do it, but still. 
I know what he did now. Yeah? Then he put her up in the tree. I don't even know how you can continue that. So it's literally my fault. This game set everything up making it look like Basil is the weirdo. But it was, he is just trying to help us. We were, it was literally us. There we go. So that's why he's so, I guess, traumatized by it. Why he's so reserved, doesn't talk anymore, hides from his emotions. I mean, if I accidentally killed someone, I'd bottle it up too. Oh my gosh. Final photo. That's, what is this? Oh, yep, broke the violin. Oh, do I keep clicking? She's yelling at me for it. Something happens. I can't tell what's happening here, but I push her. And then she falls. There she's, she's dead. I'm going to help her, but she's not moving. I drag her up the stairs. I bring her to the room. I put her on the bed. I'm crying and think Basil's hiding. Basil is horrified by, it, by what he just witnessed. I'm crying there. I fell asleep, I guess. Wait a minute. That's that's me. I'm I'm dragging her back down the stairs. Wait, so it wasn't Wait a minute. That's me out there. Basil's indoors. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I'm I'm even worse than I thought. I made Basil Help me carry her body and stage her death. Oh my gosh. Wow, I am a horrible person. So it was me. I did all of it. It was all my fault. Oh my gosh, and that's why I'm scared of the eye. I am insane. Oh my gosh. I I thought Basil was the one who dragged the body because he's trying to help me, but no, I literally did all of it myself. I forced Basil to come along and help me because Basil shows up and I realized that he saw me, so I made him help me so he's complicit. Wow, I I just get worse and worse. No, I do not want to go to sleep. The door is locked. I am terrible. I am literally... I... I am just a full-on murderer. I'm worse than a murderer. I made my best friend complicit in the murder. Basil did nothing wrong. It's literally... Basil. Why would you even want me to stay with you, Basil? N is that why he talks to me the most? Because of this trauma bond I created? Ah, Sunny. It's just you. I'm glad you came. 
I'm sorry, Basil, for everything I've done to you. It's, it's so good to see you. It came to you that day. The day Mary died. When Mary, when Mary fell, you, you couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. You're a good person, Sonny. Oh my gosh, he wants to see the best in me because he doesn't want to accept the fact that I am, a, I am crazy. I'm a psycho. I'm a murderer. And he's trying to see the best in me because he wants to justify it. Because he helped hide it. Because I probably made him. Oh my gosh, no, Basil. Don't justify it for me. I can come up with my own excuses. You shouldn't be excusing my behavior. I know you're a good person. No, I'm not. I don't deserve it. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. I'm sorry, Basil, but tomorrow you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. Uh, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sonny? I'm so sorry, Basil. I literally ruined your life. I ruined everybody's life. There's no way out of this, is there? Sonny. Oh my gosh, he's backing away. You freaking coward. Yeah, you stay there. Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I hate Sonny so much. I don't want to be alone. Not again. I did this to him. I ruined his life. Oh my gosh, by making him help me cover up the crime because he believed I was a good person and he just wanted to help out his friend and I'm crazy. You can't leave me again. I know it was probably an accident, but then covering it up to cover my own behind, that was not an accident. Basil, I'm sorry. No, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sonny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? No, it's not making me do this. It is me. Nothing is making me do this. I'm just crazy. Stop projecting your good heart onto me. I don't deserve it. Ah, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from me, Sonny. I'll protect you no matter what, Sonny. You can count on me. No, I don't deserve it. When something killed me, it wasn't something, it was me. When something ruined all my photos. No, you did that because you were grieving. I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sonny. Sonny? Sonny wouldn't do something like that. I did. I'm sorry, Basil. Don't worry, Sonny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Sonny's such a little coward. Sonny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. I'm so... Oh my gosh. I don't want to fight him. Can I make myself lose? I'm not going to fight him. Let's calm down. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. Basil's eyes are red from crying. You want to run. This is literally all my fault. You deserve this, Sonny. Focus. Yeah, how does it feel facing the consequences of your actions. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. Yeah, not it, because I'm a murderer. You want to run. Well, 
You don't deserve to. You deserve to pay. Funny. There's no way out of this, is there? I'm sorry, Basil. Why did I... You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. You just wanted to help me. You want to run. Well, I have nothing left to do. I'm sorry, Basil. I don't want to do this. Tell me, Sunny. Am I selfish for doing this? No, I'm the selfish one. I dragged you into this mess. You want to run. It's all my fault. Sunny. Do you hate me? Why would I hate you? You should hate me. You deserve to hate me. I was the one who did all this. Please, stop it. Stop struggling, Sunny. I'm... I'm so tired. I don't... I don't like Sunny. You want to run. But I can't. Everything's going to be okay, it says that at the bottom. Sunny, face the darkness. Psycho. I'm sorry, Basil. I don't have a choice. I'm literally just attacking Basil for no. It says Basil. What does that say? I'm s attacks Basil. Basil reaches inside Sunny. So, why are we just attacking each other? I'm sorry. Why did I drag you into this? Sorry, Basil. Why? Why wouldn't you stop? What? Wait, what? Wait, are we like actually hurting each other? Because I'm bleeding. Did he stab me in the eye? Oh my gosh, were we stabbing each other? Oh my gosh, I'm literally psycho. Yeah, he cornered me in the bathroom, but like... Why? Like, obviously he's distressed. This is literally all my fault. He wasn't even... Oh my gosh. He wasn't even doing anything until I started attacking him. Unless he was... Maybe he wanted us both to die. I, I don't know. Well, what's happening now? I don't know what's going on. My cat. Let's go home. Basil. Sorry, Basil. Ah, yes, Sunny. You found your way home. Back home. I don't know if I ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow... Whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. Yeah, when you wanted to help cover up the body to protect me. 
All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it up, it all comes out somehow. You didn't do anything, Basil, it was my fault. I want to say that everything will be okay, that we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and here are good friends. You have to trust they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but forgive us? Why you? You didn't do anything. It was my fault. I killed my own sister, and then you just wanted to help me cover it up. The photos in our album, they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those photos close. And remember what you want to protect. No, you should have just let me go. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. Not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Basil, you shouldn't have helped me. Oh my gosh. You are too good of a friend. I don't deserve you. Sunny, let's make some new memories together, okay? I'm sorry, Basil. Why did I drag you into this? And then I stab you? Literally all of this is my fault. My. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Amori, I just thought you're a little shy and a bit of a weirdo, but I didn't think you were a murderer. Wait, my house is fully furnished. Oh my gosh, those are my parents. Who would have guessed that I would have murdered my own sister? Wow. Um, it all looks so nice. The piano, my favorite song. Hi, Mivo. Good kitty. Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be so tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sunny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be there. I should be in prison. Ooh, door. What's this? Cardboard boxes. Empty clothing rack. The toy box. A broken violin. So that's where my violin went. Wait, are all the, are these all the things that are from the murder? Strands of long black hair are entangled within its strings. Oh my gosh. Sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood but it can still be read. Well, 
Can I put the sheet music? No. Mom and Dad's bed. Mom sleeps on the left. Dad sleeps on the right. So our dad did leave after the death. I literally destroyed my entire family, my entire friend group, someone's entire life. I ruined Basil's life. Mary's bed and mine too and I had nightmares. Oh, I'm on a highway. Let's run. Run, run, run. Never end. What's this? The tree house. Yes, I just got what I needed. Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah, when did you get behind me, Mary? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought some cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Eh. Oh, man. Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? And what's so funny anyway? There's something you're not telling us, Basil. Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Oh, look, Sonny. It's too horrible. Oh, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Mary's cookies are the best, right, Sonny? Oh, hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mary's cookies. Mary's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, hero. You're embarrassing me. Two fives and a ten. What do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. There's the mask. You look at Basil's hand, it's a jack and an ace. Shh, don't tell anyone, okay? Oops, I messed up your accent again. Hmm. Yep. He remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. Smelled better knowing that Mary made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. Oh, so that's what I'm doing. Fixing the violin with the power of my mind. Here we go. I wonder if there's a way I can mess up the ending. And there, the watermelon's all cut up. Come on everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big strong man. Aw, not now, Mary. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Munch. They're all eating. Hey, don't take pictures of me while I'm eating, Basil. Ah, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Yep, I do. Remember the taste of watermelon. Tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone on the hot summer. I have a lot of memories to go through. The birthday party. What else? Yeah, I don't know. My throat hurts. Hmm. Looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, hero. Ah, oh, it was nothing. 
I'm just practicing a little. Glad you all liked it. One day you're going to be a world famous chef and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait. I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, hero. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah. I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. <laughs> Hector. How could you? Oh, so that's what he covered up with tape. Did Hector pee on it? Oh, I'm sleeping. Hey, Sunny. I took a photo of everyone earlier. Want to see? Yep, there it is. Oh, never mind. Hector pooped in the background. This could have been such a good shot. Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. Uh, maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Cookies. Okay, let's go. Yep. I'm feeling a sleeping in Mary's lap. Felt more comfortable because he knew that no matter what, Mary would always keep you safe. I know this is like supposed to be about, oh, Sonny's forgiving himself or something. But should he forgive himself? I mean, he kind of killed someone and then covered it up. At least face the consequences of your actions. Then we start stabbing Basil. Hey Sonny, hey Basil, what took you guys so long? Sorry, you got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture of my new raincoat. Oh, okay. One sec. Do you like it, Sunny? Favorite color, pink. Ew, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sunny, that reminds me. Mary and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mary says she's going to dye her hair purple. Purple? You want to know what color I chose? Wait, are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know, I just thought it'd be cute. Mary thinks so too. Oof, I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sunny? Sure. Sunny says he thinks that pink is a great color. Can I not hear me talk? See, even Basil and Sunny agree. You're the one who's weird, Kel. Psh, whatever. Wow, there's so much reading. My throat hurts so much. Um, your dad's strict. What is this, Sunny? Do you want to see the photo? Wow. You always ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I maybe sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. Hehe. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. I knew it. I knew he had a crush on Aubrey, seeing as how in his fantasies he's always playing it out as, oh, Aubrey's obsessed with him. Aubrey just likes him so much. But it's not true, is it? He's the one who likes Aubrey. So of course in his fantasy. Oh, are you going on ahead, Sonny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Of course in his fantasy land, he'll imagine Aubrey as someone who's madly in love with him. You would like to think so, wouldn't you, Sonny? You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hits your umbrella. Sounds more calm knowing that you're standing next to your best friends. This video is going on a lot longer than I expected, so I think I'm gonna like break it down into separate parts and maybe record like a different outro for each of them. 
Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sunny? Sunny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? Why did I read it like it's Basil talking? Sorry, I forgot to switch up to a normal... Whatever. It's okay, Sunny. He'll get used to enough... Uh, yeah. Wow, this cake looks so amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Basil, Basil, what wish are you going to make? Hey, you can't ask off that, Hopper. Or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that. Hmm. A wish? Uh, but what would I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh, I know. I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw. I want to know, though. Guys, if we don't hurry up, the candles are gonna melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, Mary? Sure thing. Ahem. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Blow out your candles, Basil. Make a wish. Who took the photo? Is that me? Oh yeah, it was me. You remembered. Basil smile as he is about to blow out his birthday candles. How could I destroy him like this? But he also remembered. As Basil made his wish, he made one too. At that time, he wished for everyone to be happy. This is all my fault. This is all my fault. How could I do this? Because it's all my fault. Can I just... Okay, fine. What do we got now? Wow. A new basketball. Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sunny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you just get one present from all of us. Probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mary and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me, I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mary told us about how you always want to sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, and even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea, but we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one, so yeah. We hope you like it, Sunny. This is from all of us to you. the violin. Ta-da! It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, Sunny. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers, as if on its own. Your body readied the violin to play. So what was the finger chopping off thing supposed to be symbolism for? There it is. You remembered. Anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That has scared you, but you didn't mind. Because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them. Because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. You remembered 
Oh wait, this is, these are all the memories. Sunny, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But, when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You had listened to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sunny, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better, and you can be the one to make that happen. Me just gaslighting myself into believing it's not my fault. Whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. Okay, let's go. We believe in you, Sunny. An empty music stand. Yep. There we go. I really need to pee. I've been trying to drink a lot of water to keep my throat from hurting. The stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Because this was a lot of reading, and I'm definitely going to have to break this into two different videos. Hey. This reminds me of the Sweetheart whatever room. Can't believe Sweetheart died. That was crazy. I guess she kind of deserved it, but still, she was... I was kind of rooting for her and wanted her to get her happy ending. But whatever. Too bad she didn't have any character development. There we go. Can I move? No. Where am I? Amori. I really need to use the restroom. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oops. Okay, so I can't run. Um, heal your wounds and come back stronger. Encore. Your juice will not fall for three turns. Allegro attack three times. 
Let's try Encore. Sunny gathered himself. Amori attack Sunny. Okay. Let me try this. Oh my gosh. Leave me alone. Let's keep going. Oh wow. Okay, I need to heal. Okay, let's try Cherish. You remembered Kel's words. Friends. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Okay, I'm good again. Let's try Encore. Oh my gosh. And... Allegro. There we go. Oh, it's not over. Amori did not succumb. Uh-oh. Boom. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And so you've earned nothing in return. Well, he's not wrong. I'm going to use Cherish. I don't want to die. You remembered Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace. Or, you know, some happiness. I think I can only use Cherish like a limited amount of times. Okay. I like her own. Your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you like you did them. And that's what you deserve. Well, maybe you're not wrong. Maybe that is what I deserve. Amori did not succumb. Oh my gosh. Mm. Let's keep going. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others. But the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. Oh my. Okay, again. Oh wow. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? They say you care. But you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. Honestly, he's making some pretty good points. Amori did not succumb. Because I kind of just leave everyone by themselves. And never help them when they're struggling. Encore. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. Oh my- Oops. Uh oh. Oopsie. Well, this would be a good time to go use the restroom. Oh my gosh, I said do you want to retry and I pressed no because I was- I don't know, I, I was trying to- I was gonna continue it later. I didn't realize it actually do something. I was just- I, I was, no, I wasn't trying to do that. I was, I was going to continue tomorrow because I'm kind of tired and I wanted to go to bed. Um, okay, great. So I just messed something up. Welcome to white space.
So, can I go back? You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Once it lets me into the game, I'm going to go back and continue that, because no, I was not trying to do that. Well, I'm back here again. I'm now embracing my inner Amori. No shadow monsters. No light bulb. Yep, let's go. I didn't mean to do this. I just wanted to go to sleep and then I would continue it. What do you want? Can I go? No. Yeah, let's go. What is that music? Whoa, what the? Hey, I have an eye patch. I don't want to go back. Oh, okay. So I really did mess things up. So, oh, well, fun, cool. I did not want to do that. I just wanted to pause the game until I can sleep, and then I would come back and do it again. A long way down. I literally don't have a choice. Like, well, okay, yeah, okay. Close. Oh. Your eyes yeah. Wow. That was cool. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go back and redo things because, no, I am not gonna leave it here. No, thank you. Nope. Uh-uh. Oh my gosh. Oh my, I was not trying to do this. Okay. Um, yeah, for me it's gonna be tomorrow, but for you it'll be like two seconds. So, oh, close your eyes, reach the bad ending. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'll, let's go back. People like you don't deserve to live. Oh my gosh. Amori did not succumb. Oh. You remembered Hero's promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other then when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. He's telling the truth. Oh my gosh. You're nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. Uh-oh. And doesn't... No, it doesn't revive all of it. If they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it will be hopeless. All you do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. Stop. I'm just gonna use my normal attack and heal. Because I'm not trying to die. Okay, I'm just gonna use Allegro. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm not dead. It'd be better to just die. Oh 
Oh my gosh, you still haven't given up. Stop it. I don't, I can't keep fighting this. You remember Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. You killed Mary. She loved you and you killed her. Sonny feels afraid. Oh my gosh. Aubrey left her and you killed her. Kel loved her and you killed her. Basil loved her and you killed her. I think I missed the part where that's my problem. You loved her and you killed her. You know, I kind of blamed Basil. No, I kind of blamed Sunny also. But maybe it's too harsh on him. Because it was an accident. I don't think he meant to. Wait, what? It didn't work. No, it's not working. There's nothing I can do. You should just die. Well, cool. Game over. Oh. Well, I thought there'd be a continue thing, but I guess not. Do you want to continue? Yes. I'm pretty sure if I say no, then it just brings me to that hospital where I jump off the roof. That's the only option we have. Nice music. Sorry for blaming you, Sunny.
the reality is it wasn't really anyone's fault. Sunny didn't mean to push her. They just had a fight and then he did push her. And all it took was a single push to change everything. I still feel bad for Basil. Imagine wa watching your best friend kill somebody. And that... Just trying to help them. But did helping really make things better? Or did it just make it worse for everybody? Maybe everyone... Maybe it would have been better if everyone just knew it was an accident from the start. door. I'm not even moving. Final bow. We're alive. And her eye is injured. Basil, why'd you have to stab me in the eye? I'm sorry for blaming you, Sonny. Well, we're awake. Nothing but static. We don't got any good things on TV. Dang, I got gifts from everyone. Even from that one artist that I helped. And those new neighbors. The lady who wanted... Oh. I hope so too. How am I looking? Still injured. Well, time to go. What door is this? I think they're all locked. There's my imaginary friends. Where 
are they going? The stranger. Wait, which way am I supposed to go? This way or that way? Okay, if I go this way, it leads over there. I'm scared. Oh, I say no. Okay, good. So I'm not going to follow my friends. I'm going to go see Basil first. Okay, nothing down there. Basil's in here. Okay, this is also a dead end. I'm just gonna go see Basil. There he is. Uh oh. I have to tell you something. Oh my. One more day, the sun reaches my bed. Oh, it's a song. Okay, so I guess that's the end. So we don't know if his friends actually forgive him or not. I like to think that they do. Because why wouldn't they? Wouldn't it be better to know that it was an accident instead of Mary doing it to herself? I feel like there'd be more peace in that. That is, if you can forgive him. If you can't forgive, then... It's not going to get better. I think they would forgive him. Especially Aubrey. It may seem like Aubrey wouldn't forgive him because she's kind of angry all the time. But at the end, she did learn how to view things from other people's perspective and not focus on her own feelings so much. So I think she would have tapped into that and forgiven him. Reach the good ending. And then Sunny, Hero, Aubrey, Kel, and Basil would all be friends. Yay, they forgive each other. With the truth free. They're finally able to let go of that darkness. See, look, they got their little gifts there, too. So they definitely forgave each other. Thanks for playing. I still feel bad for Mary, though. But I'd say she's probably living her best afterlife. The end. Yay, we did it. I did get the good ending and the secret ending, which is that little part with Basil, but the game's not entirely over. Because the game does end differently if you don't open the door at all, and you just stay inside the whole time. What I just did was called the sunny route, which is where you get the good ending, but I could go do the hikikomori route, which is also called the amori route. And that's where I don't open the door and basically you only get bad endings. But you can explore the dream world more. And there's new worlds. So if I do that, I'd probably skip the parts that we've already seen. But I would go do the things that we haven't seen. Also, I'm going to go back to the save file to see what happens if I don't help Basil. Okay, let's go. No. I don't want to help him. Okay, let's go back to sleep. Yes. Where is everyone? 
I'm so sorry, Basil. Please forgive me. Why, Basil? Why did you do it? Sunny, why does this keep happening to us? Please, Sunny, you shouldn't be seeing this. You're supposed to be moving out today, on your way to a fresh new start. We'll take care of everything here. Go on ahead. We'll be okay, I think. Why? Why am I so useless? You know, I think we don't realize that and we're blocking it out of our memory. There's nothing here. Oh my gosh. Amori, he really has a problem with blocking things out. Sunny, a lot of the times he just wants to disappear. He thinks that things will be better if he just dies. But they really wouldn't be. Everyone would be miserable. All it does is spread the pain to everybody else. It doesn't make anything better. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm just gonna go. You shouldn't disturb others. Okay. I actually was trying to go in my house, so I just walked to the wrong house. There's a knife. Nope, I can't go outside. Oh. Well, the hallucinations are back. The memory blocking the hallucinations. Oh my gosh. I'm out of here. Oh my. I do not want to go to bed. Uh, what do I do? No, I don't even want to go near there. Yep. I didn't take the knife this time. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Well, the light bulb's gone. Well, I guess the only thing I can do is stab. Well, we're back. Hey, Sunny, it's Mommy. I'm waiting for you outside, so just come out when you're ready. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. What the? Who's that? What kind of furniture awaits you, I wonder? There's people taking the stuff away. Your mom is waiting for you outside. Goodbye. 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 May you live a long and happy life. It's time to move on from this place and start anew.
Oh my. Oh my gosh, it's just following me. Can I leave? No. How'd we start going sideways? Oh my gosh, the sirens in the background. I'm guessing that those are for Basil. There's something behind you, reach the other ending. Well, we're back in white space. I'll take the knife. Thank you. Seems there's no creepy thing at the top of the stairs if we don't look at Basil. And there's nothing over our bed either. That's still there. Okay, let's do this again. Except this time we have the knife. that will be all for Omori, and if you want to see me do the other route where he doesn't leave the house, then leave a like so I know, or a comment, I don't know, either one, or both. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this series. I know it wasn't very popular, not many people watched it, compared to the FNAF videos, but, you know, whatever. So if you did stick around for the whole thing, thank you. Thank you for watching all of it. I hope you subscribe, and that will be all, and goodbye. Thank you.